know where your partner is at all times, stay out of his line of fire. Hey guys, welcome back to Old School Gamers. Today, we got another emulator ready for you to play on your Raspberry Pi 4. It's called Action Max, and it's not DVD, it was VHS games, and it was really cool, it was really interesting. Uh, shout out to Dirtbag, Zon, got it right this time. Of course, the contributors, Cheeky Prince, Luther, all you guys that have put a lot of time and effort to get this up and running. So let's get into it, I'm gonna show you how to get it going. Hey guys, all right, I got my Raspberry Pi booted up. We're gonna log into it and get this thing installed. We're gonna do this live. So I have a default session here set up for my Pi 4. I'm gonna load that, because I already know my IP. But you're gonna have to type it in here if you don't know it or have it saved. Go ahead and open that. And it's gonna be Pi Raspberry. There we go. All right. So first thing that we want to do is get the Action Max installed. So I'm going to put the list of all these commands in the description so that you guys can use them. I was going to do a script, but this one has a little bit of interactivity that's required. So we're just going to have to work through that. So what you're going to do is just copy paste each of the commands. And the first one is going to be a wget command here. And don't worry, it's in the description. That way you don't have to type it out. And when you go ahead and run this what it's going to do is it's going to download uh, the script and it should run pretty fast there it is boom so next you want to do is actually run that script and what we're going to do is run RetroPie setup that shell all right and once this uh, window pops up you want to go down to manage packages and scroll down to experimental packages because that's where it'll be and you'll see Action Max right here on the top. Go ahead and hit enter. And we're going to do an install from source and let this run. All right, not too bad. It took about, I don't know, maybe two minutes, three pops, not bad at all. Anyway, so once it's done, we're gonna go ahead and go back. And go back, and go back, and let's do a reboot. It is done rebooting, so we're gonna restart our session here using WinSCP. All right, obviously I can't tell you where it is that you need to go get these ROMs. You gotta figure that out on your own, but once you do get them, you're going to go ahead and log in with the host name and port number 22 using file protocol SCP for secure copy. You're going to log in with the username of Pi. And when you can spell it right, Rasp with a B, or sorry, a P, then Barry with a B. Rasp Barry. All right. And what you want to do is make sure that you're in home, Pi, RetroPi, roms and daphne now here's a little thing i gotta note this folder will only exist if you're using one of the bare bones image because it has uh, daphne and hypsius installed on it if you do not have this folder it's probably because you don't have bare bones and you're building your own image you're gonna have to get daphne uh installed okay or hypsius one of the two um so what we're gonna do though is just add the action max to this folder here so when you download it, here's Action Max with all these files. Okay. And what you want to do is just drag the folder Action Max itself into this uh, path of HomePy, RetroPy ROMs, uh, Daphne. Let's do that. And that, my friend, is going to take a little while. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed this up and we'll be right back. All right, it is finally done uploading. It didn't take too long, maybe about 10, 15 minutes, but I'm over Wi-Fi. I'm not actually plugged into the ethernet cable, so I'm limited by the speed. That's all right though. So next, what we wanna do is after you get the emulator installed, which we did first, 
Then we uploaded our ROMs. Now we want to change the layout structure and configure it just a little bit to make Emulation Station a little happier. Let's go back to the command line. Alright guys, we got the ROMs all uploaded. Let's get back into the Pi. So, you're going to go ahead and log back in. Got my IP saved. Make this a little easier. We'll go in as Pi. Raspberry. I'll do this nice and live so you guys can see this. So what we're going to do now is we're going to run a series of commands. And don't worry, I'm going to have this all in the description. All you got to do is just copy it over and run it. You don't have to do anything. Let's do that right now. So make sure you copy all of it though. All right, there we go. So all I'm going to do is right click. Let that all copy in there. We'll look a little funky. That's fine. And we'll hit enter one more time so the last one is done. And there we go. Now, what we're going to do now is do a reboot. And if you have any issues, that is the time for you to go back in here. And I'll copy it. And copy the second, uh, second command. That'll be this one. So if you're having issues, basically the difference between this and the last one is that this one has the ignore aspect ratio in it. So if you're not getting full screen or you're having some kind of issue with the aspect ratio, run this command, this full command, obviously, um, and that should take care of the issue and do a reboot. So that's it. Let's go check it out. Go to ports and we're going to start up gun number one. I do non recall recoil just for the video. And we'll go to Daphne. And let's try 38 Ambush Alley. Okay, one of the things as it's loading up, go ahead and interrupt it with the A key. I don't know if you guys can see this, I'm sorry, but you've seen the screen many times before. Basically, you wanna set up the emulator because it defaults to Daphne, okay? And these are not Daphne run. These are Action Max run. So, you don't wanna select default emulator for Daphne because if you do that, then Who Shot Johnny Rocks and all your Daphne games are now going to be default to Action Max. So you only want to do this for the ROM, okay? Do it for the ROM. Do it for the ROM. Don't do it for the whole emulator. Because I know someone's going to do it and be like, ah! So select Action Max. So you got to do that for each game, okay? And then go to Launch and that'll save it. So emulation station will know which one it's supposed to use when it does that. Okay, so to initialize the parsing, just hit the start button on your gun and let it do its thing. So it'll give you a little bar graph and give you percentage and let you know how it's doing. Pretty cool. Oh, I need the volume. Where's the, trying not to get in the way of the camera. Ah, there it is. Okay, yeah, volume should be okay. Might be too loud, but we'll see in a second. All right, 100%. Now you get to enjoy some Action Max games. Have some fun with this one, guys. Appreciate you watching, and I will catch you on the next one.